Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for October 5th. This reading is not sign specific. This reading may or may not be for you. Um, and the timing is fluid, okay? So keep that in mind. Typically, these readings happen within days. Oh, we just had a flipper. The devil. The devil reversed. Now, this is taking back control. This is a card of freedom. So that is the overall energy, is freedom. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation. So that is the overall energy of the day. Um, taking back control of a situation, something that was unhealthy. Um, dealing with a habit, do, dealing with an obsession, dealing with uh, anything, some sort, sort of addiction. It's, it's letting go of it. It's, it's dealing with it. Dealing with it. And releasing it. Hmm. Um, definitely addictions here. And obsessions. Somebody has an addiction that um, is really affecting their health. And this is, is going to probably come up today. Okay, on this day. This addiction is going to surface okay it's going to be at the it's going to be at the forefront okay um it could be an obsession as well this is something being revealed something being shown could be dealing with a capricorn or a pisces or both Eight of Coins, Queen of Swords reversed. Hmm. We have somebody here that is going to be putting in effort, really working hard. Somebody is going to be doing something. This could be telling the truth or the truth being revealed. The Queen of Swords is somebody that is bitter and resentful. Somebody could be telling the truth, the truth, you know, putting in effort to, you know, get this person to lighten up. <laughs> that could be the case. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very, uh, cold and withdrawn and uh, I mean this person has been hurt very very hurt to the point where she is turned cold and bitter and resentful and hateful and vindictive and mean and aggressive and uh, you know this is a bitch pain and suffering and heartache has turned her into a bitch It's a self-protection tactic. The moon reversed is something being revealed. Okay, and this is this is taking back control. Oh, wow, we definitely have a bitch here. There's no doubt about it. I gotta be honest with you here. We have the Empress reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. There is no doubt you are dealing with a bitch. Um, or somebody is. Um life experience somebody that has life experience painful painful still not healed not healed still dealing still in pain still in pain could be dealing with Taurus could be dealing with a Libra Pisces Capricorn Gemini Libra Aquarius definitely trying to somebody is trying going to be putting in effort Seriously, really trying to get it right. Somebody is gonna try is trying to do something. Maybe prove themselves. Communicate. Somebody is probably going to receive communication from somebody. Hmm. They may be telling the truth. They may have been living in some sort of illusion.
We definitely have an unhappy camper here. We have somebody that is not happy and somebody that is not healed. And we also have somebody that is going to take action. This is reclaiming power and this is very powerful. So somebody is about to seriously take action. There's an obstacle that is being removed. That's the Eight of Swords reversed. And it's a lie. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been masking their truth with addictions, drugs, alcohol, something like that. Doesn't have to be. It could be food, whatever. Somebody had, whatever. There's all kinds of, there's definitely some addictions here. There's somebody, and it, somebody... has been hiding their grief they could have even been burying themselves in their work to hide their grief like a workaholic you know that's kind of like an addiction too that's a way to hide grief somebody has been hiding their grief but now it's like I don't have anything left to prove. I just want to be happy. So somebody is deciding that they don't they don't they they want to be happy. They've it's like they've made a decision that that it's time. It's time to make a conscious change to let go of this baggage. It's that they've been overwhelmed with burden and uh grief. Somebody has really really been grieving. Holding on to something that they, that they, it's like, they were holding on to an overwhelm, they were overwhelming themselves by not dealing with this. You know what I mean? By trying to mask it, by wearing this mask, by self-medicating. Somebody was self-medicating themselves with either food, drugs, alcohol, money, work, obsessions, whatever. Trying to hide their true feelings for another person. And it's overwhelmed them to the point of, of illness, collapse. It's like we have somebody here that is it's like being defeated. It's like they've been defeated now. There's an obstacle that has been removed or is about to be removed. Something that somebody has been in some sort of mental trap. They've been trapped in their own mind. They've been really confused. They have. They've been in a state of confusion. They've been really confused, trapped in their thoughts. But I feel like, I feel like today is a day where they... reach a point of hitting their knees it's like they hit their knees it's like I can't do this anymore I just can't do this anymore it's like they can't do it any I can't do this anymore I can't carry this burden anymore it's killing me it's killing me to keep carrying this the empress reversed I mean it's like they they the, the empress reversed is somebody that is was undervalued Yeah, definitely undervalued. Somebody that didn't know their worth. Somebody that didn't know their value. Somebody that lacked self-confidence, self-esteem. Self <laughs> but it's like, so now we have somebody that is seeing the truth. This is seeing the truth. And they're about to take back control. That is the devil. The devil reversed is, is, is taking back control. Re 
releasing. Somebody is releasing a situation. They are releasing the need to control. It's like they're ready. They're facing their fears. They're facing. This is seriously facing their fears. Somebody is about to face their fears. And it's because they, they don't want to fight anymore. They just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. They want to let go of the burden. They want to let go of this baggage. It's, it's killing them to carry this baggage. There's illness here as well. Stress kills. There is definitely some illness here. There's a loss. Somebody is feeling the loss. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody is feeling the loss that of another person. This is a loss of a child. But it doesn't have to be. It could be a loss of a of a of a wife, a loss of, you know, a partner that somebody didn't see it's like somebody didn't see their value they didn't see their worth but it's like now they do I feel as though we have somebody here that has recognized that the person the person that they didn't value has another opportunity it's like they see that the person that they didn't value has another opportunity, is working with somebody else, is collaborating and communicating with somebody else. And it's like they don't want to be dropped. It's like now they don't want to be dropped. We have somebody here that has a really big ego, has a lot of pride. This person has went off track. And, and engaged in a unhappy situation, got themselves stuck in some sort of situation that it may have been comfortable, but it wasn't fulfilling. Okay, it may have been comfortable, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was something, it was something, but it, it wasn't what they wanted. And it's like now we have somebody that is about to put in effort. This is putting in effort, taking action. <clears throat> this is le this is shedding something to bring in the new. So somebody is also shedding something. Removing something that <sighs> was unhappy from them their life. There's another opportunity for love here. There's another opportunity. This is beginning. This is a recovery. This is a recovery. This is have faith. You know, believing. There's, there is somebody else. There's somebody else. So we have somebody here that is, is seeing the truth that the person that they neglected has somebody else. It's like, boom, damn. It's like they've been set free. You've been set free. And we have this per other person that realizes that the person that used to want them doesn't want them anymore. This person, and they don't, they don't want them anymore. And it's like they realize that they don't want me anymore. So I think this person may decide to take action. I don't know. This is the magician takes action to bring success. But this the strength card in reverse is a coward. We have a coward here. We with the five of swords, we definitely have some we have somebody here that wanted to be in complete control. Had definitely had something to prove with these two cards. Had to had a point to prove. But now probably karma has kicked them in the ass. It's been a terrible injustice. Maybe they realize that it's been a terrible injustice. Maybe they realize that they didn't treat another person fairly. Somebody didn't treat up another person fairly. But this is the truth being revealed. 
the moon card reversed, is coming out of illusion and the truth coming out. What has been hidden is about to be revealed. So something is about to be revealed. A lie, an injustice. We definitely have somebody here that was not treated fairly. They were in a lose-lose situation that brought them to their knees. Just about killed them. They were dealing with a coward who wanted to be in complete control and wanted to win at all costs. I feel as though this person, somebody, I don't know which one it is, has, has decided that it's time to be free. This is breaking the change, severing the ties. I've already severed the ties. Cut the cords. The devil reversed is cutting the cords. There's no more connection. It's over. So we have somebody here that has decided to break free from this prison. They have decided to, to seriously break free. Somebody is breaking free. This is freedom. Freedom from this mental prison, this mental trap, this negative situation. Somebody's taking back their power and they're about to be working with somebody else. There's a new opportunity here. There is. This is a new prospect. This King of Wands reverse. This is somebody who has too much ego and pride to take any action. This one can't take any action. It's in reverse. But somebody else is going to take action. We have two people here. There is one person that is letting ego and pride and this devil energy, hell, take over. They are, they are still, uh, you know, living in hell. And they're going to continue to live in hell until they find their courage and their strength and their confidence and their willpower to act with integrity. Because karma never loses an address. When you do not act with integrity, don't karma is about to hit. So for the person that did not act with integrity, they are about to get some karma. Hip, hip, hooray! I would love to be a fly on that wall. Just saying. Anyhow, I'm this one right here. So, anyway, um... Karma. Karma. This is what this is, and it's bad karma. Somebody's about to... What goes around comes around. So today is definitely a day of karma. I think that um, we do have somebody that is about to take action and basically take the opportunity that was lost. You know what I mean? It's like this person's been grieving. This person's been sad. This person um, may not have realized that there was someone else. And it's like, here comes someone else. Expect the unexpected. I was waiting for that five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. I was waiting for it. Five. Here it is. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. What is five, five, five? Personal freedom. There's been a lot of power struggles. Five, five, five is about change. Facing adversity head on. Major life changes when you see 555. Five, five. Whatever is happening, it's going to change your life in a major way. Somebody is changing directions. They are giving up the struggle. They are giving up the fight. I am not going to fight with you anymore. I'm not going to fight for you anymore. There is somebody else. There is somebody else. 
Somebody is about to be working with somebody else and the person that did not treat another person fairly, the other person that did not act with integrity is about to get hit with a big old dose of karma. Be prepared. Good luck.